Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates. What's on my plate today? Meatloaf. And we're not talking just any meatloaf. I'm talking about Cracker Barrel Restaurant copycat version. And oh my gosh, I have been looking for this recipe for quite a while and I finally found it, so I'm going to be bringing it to you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification and that way you'll know when all of my videos are posted. All right, y'all, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about when I say Cracker Barrel copycat version of meatloaf. All right, I'm going to go over all the ingredients that we're going to need to make our Cracker Barrel copycat meatloaf. Now, I've got about two pounds of ground beef. It's about an 80-20 mix. I have three large eggs, Ritz crackers. Now, you're going to need about one and a half sleeves or one cup of crushed Ritz crackers. I've got one small onion that I'm going to dice finely. A half of a green bell pepper that I'm going to dice finely. We're going to use three cups of shredded cheese. Now I'm using a cheddar jack. We've got one teaspoon of ground oregano, one teaspoon of ground thyme, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of parsley. Then over here I've got half a cup of whole milk, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. We're going to have some salt and pepper to taste. Now we're also, I'm going to show you the ingredients for the topping of the meatloaf. All right, so we're going to have about half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of brown sugar, and then one teaspoon of yellow mustard. And then you can just taste that as you make it and see if you want to add anything more to it. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and put this meatloaf together. All right, now the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And while that's going, I took my ground beef here and all I did was just kind of break it up into pieces there. And that will make it really easy to kind of mix everything together. All right, now I'm going to be using about half of a bell pepper. So I'm just going to take off two sides. I'm going to cut it into slices, very small slices. And then turn around that way and do your little dices. All right, y'all, there are times when you just want to pull out your knife and just start chopping vegetables, right? <laughs> very therapeutic sometimes very all right so I'm just going to take my onion cut it in half peel off that back layer now I just sliced through it three quarters of the way through lots of slices all right then I stand it on the uncut edge and make about two slices about three quarters of the way through and then just drag your knife through it. Now I have a chopper, but it doesn't chop this fine right here. So I just find it easier just to get my knife out and just make my dices. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add my peppers and onions into my meat here. Now I've got just a small bowl here and three eggs. I'm going to crack them into my bowl here and then I'm going to whisk them up and pour that into my meat mixture here. Pour that in. All right, now we got our crackers here. I'm looking to make about one cup of these crumbs. So I'm going to put my cup here. This is what I'm trying to measure to. Got a Ziploc bag here. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open up my crackers, Ritz crackers. You know they are buttery goodness, right? This is what's going to add that delicious flavor to the meatloaf. That's that secret recipe for the meatloaf at Cracker Barrel. And we're going to find out. This is the first time that I've made this recipe, so I'm hoping that it is correct. <laughs> All right, and then just kind of close your bag. Let me get some of that air out. Get a lot of air in there. There we go. All right, so now you want to take your crackers and just to crumble them up, kind of 
like that there, if you can see that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead now, open my bag. Pour these in. And you'll be able to determine if you need more cracker crumbs in there or not. Okay? Alright, we got that. We've got half a cup of milk. Okay, now I'm putting in three cups of cheese. One, two, and three. Alright, I'm going to sprinkle some Worcestershire in. Some garlic powder. Oh no, I'm gonna have to wash that. Okay, yes, that does happen in my kitchen. <laughs> Oregano. And then we're gonna put in some thyme. I'm gonna take it and just kind of rub it between my fingers. All right, we've got some parsley here. Put it in there, we go. Some pepper. Salt. That's it, y'all. And now what I'm going to do is take this and mix it all up. I'm going to take this little plastic glove here <laughs> and put my hand in there. This is what I'm going to use to mix my food with. All right. Go slow. Mix it up good. Now, I'll be back as soon as we get a good mix on this. Okay, we got a nice mix in there. Oh, these are these come in so handy because, I mean, you know, that's it. Nice and clean. All right, we're going to go ahead now and prep this for the oven. All right, so I'm going to be using a, a cookie sheet here, and, I've, and as long as it's got a lip around the edges of it to keep the juices from, you know, rolling out into your oven. Now, I've got some parchment paper on here, and I'm going to go ahead and put my, some plastic gloves on to get all of that out of there and then be able to form it. All right, so I'm going to take this whole thing. Put it right in the center here. And then you put this glove on. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is form this into a loaf. Nice and even along the whole thing. The thinner you have it, the faster it cooks, so just keep that in mind. Well, this is looking so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect. All right, there we go. That's looking great. I'm take my gloves off here, put it in the bowl. So what you do is you just take the outer edge and then you pull it to where the inside is now that way. So it's all in there. All right, y'all, there we go. All right, so I'm ready to put this in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it out and we're going to slather on the topping and then put it back in the oven for another probably 30 minutes. And we'll give an internal check on that. All right, I'll be back to show you how we're gonna handle the topping. Okay, so my meatloaf is almost ready to come out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead now and start making the glaze for the top of it. And what I have is half a cup of brown sugar. And then to that, I'm going to add half a cup of ketchup. I can open it. <laughs> Y'all, I've had this glaze before, and it is so delicious on top of a meatloaf. It's very delicious. All right. Get your mustard and give it a little shake so you don't pour water into your dish. All right. And then we're just going to add... Oh, one teaspoon. Once we mix it all up, we're going to give it a taste and we're going to see if we need more of something or we like it just the way it is. All right, so I'm going to take my spoon here, give this a mix. Mm, smells good. Get a nice good mix on it before we give it a taste. Mmm. Oh. That's delicious. 
All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead now and pull out my meatloaf and then we're gonna glaze it. I'm gonna go ahead now and take my mixture and pour it all over the meatloaf here. Mmm, it looks delicious. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to take my brush here and I'm just going to smear it so it's all coated. Okay y'all I'm ready to stick this back in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until we reach internal temperature of meatloaf. So I'll be right back. Alright y'all so my meatloaf has come out of the oven. It had an internal temperature of 160. Now I let it sit on the pan that it was in for about five minutes and then I removed it from the pan and just kind of put it onto this cutting board here. Doesn't that look wonderful? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut a slice for you. So y'all can see there we go, right there. Alright. You drooling yet? That's the inside of it. Alright, I'm going to plate this up and we're going to try it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My husband already had a piece, I should say a bite, because he had to try it, you know, when it came out of the oven to make sure it was okay. <laughs> and what was your opinion of it? <laughs> Two thumbs ups. Alright, here goes my bite. Mm. Okay, we've decided the Ritz crackers really make this meatloaf. Oh my gosh, it just gives it another layer of flavor because it's got that buttery taste to it. Mm. It's so moist and delicious and I put onions and peppers in there. You can put whatever you want in a meatloaf, y'all. I'm not, I'm not kidding. That sauce on the top is so delicious. Alright y'all, comment down below what you like in your meatloaf. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. And you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I will see you on my next episode.